Welcome to Viewpoints. I'm Heather Isbron, and with me today is Mark Gose, Chair for the Political Science and History Department at Colorado State University, Pueblo. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you for coming today. So tell us a little bit about the Education Department there and what you're doing that's so innovative. Well, I have a multidisciplinary department at Colorado State University, Pueblo, and it's um, uh, two majors, political science and history, and then uh, we have a minor in philosophy and we teach also some geography classes there for our general education requirements. But uh, the home and security piece of this is that we have a continuing education uh, piece in Colorado Springs. Uh, CSU Pueblo is about 35 miles south of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, and yet we have such a uh, diverse community that's really oriented towards home and security in Colorado Springs that we wanted to sort of meet a new client base there. And in Colorado Springs you have the Air Force Academy, Peterson Air Force Base, you have NORAD, uh, Fort Carson, um, Schriever Air Force Base. So you have a huge military community there. Um, and in addition to that, we have several uh, schools of higher education, UCCS, we have Colorado Tech, we have uh, uh, the community college there, uh, and Colorado College. And so what we were looking at is uh, maybe filling a niche. I mean, there are other home and security programs there, but none of them are really uh, based upon an undergraduate population. And because of the huge military enlisted undergraduate population in Colorado Springs, we felt that there was a, there was a need there for some home and security studies. And because uh, we're in Pueblo, we wanted to work this through our Con Ed program. So in many ways, what we're doing there is uh, based upon the client market base, that is the military uh, members who are pursuing undergraduate degrees, but at the same time, we also have very many professional and practitioners there uh, who have the expertise and the academic backgrounds to be able to teach the kinds of classes we thought were important. And again, through contacts that I and my faculty have with the Air Force Academy and others, Colorado College, uh, we have been able to, to put together a very high level uh, uh, series of scholars and, and practitioners and, and faculty members, some of whom are still teaching full time at the Air Force Academy or, or Colorado College, to be able to uh, provide some um, very important homeland security expertise to these students. And so we, we are now starting this fall uh, a program for a certificate in homeland security studies for, again, aimed at this audience uh, at our campuses at uh, the Citadel. Uh, uh, there in the Springs, uh, Peterson Air Force Base in Fort Carson. And so we really think it's going to be a great program. We're still sort of uh, consolidating uh, the number of credits and classes, but we do know there are going to be four uh, core courses in this. Mm -hmm. uh, and these courses will be courses like the Introduction to Homeland Security, uh, an Introduction to Human Conflict, uh, Global Studies, uh, Non-Western Religions. And um, so you can see that we've sort of taken a, a focus on what Homeland Security is, which is a big debate. Uh, we've taken the national security piece. The reason for that, of course, is because, again, the clientele, military members who would be looking at this in a national security way, and also our, our practitioners and our faculty up there, very, very many of them are, are national security um, uh, folks, everybody from ambassadors to retired 06s and, and general officers in intelligence and national security and State Department. So we are, are sort of taking advantage of both the clients and the faculty and focusing it on that on that national security piece of homeland security, and then we hope to sort of build upon that in the future, uh, both in Colorado Springs, but also in migrating it down to the to the main campus in Pueblo. And so, as you've seen the homeland security uh, educational debate flow across the country, how has that evolved on your campus? Because you are serving primarily a military base. Uh, right. What well, is I mean, it that again, blends into a state and local focus or other other type of focus? Well, I think there there's a, there is a still a need in Colorado, especially in the last couple of years. Our major disasters in Colorado have been fire, uh, very much so, and then a couple of blizzards in the last couple of years that have have really brought back to focus the emergency response aspects, the first responder aspects of Homeland Security. So I think that's a need that we're going to have to all in Colorado uh, deal with. So the national security focus may be the foot in the door, uh, but at the same time we're going to need to, uh, to uh, provide our EM folks and our, our criminal justice folks, those kinds of folks, the kinds of of backgrounds and training and education that they're going to need in Homeland Security. Uh, and again, that's going to have to be done, I think, as a, a cooperative effort among all of the, the, the universities of, of higher learning in, in Colorado. And, uh, and in fact, in this, this particular conference today and yesterday, uh, we've been able to start talking with uh, one of my counterparts is here from Colorado Tech, and we're, 
we're looking at trying to cooperate more in this homeland security uh, in, in maybe even a consortium that we could could start in Colorado. So by participating in our university and, and agency partnership initiative, you've been able to make some more contacts even oh, within absolutely. your own state. Absolutely. And the other great, I think the, the other great thing that we've gotten out of this conference was to be able to see benchmarks out there for, for other similar certificate programs, uh, New Mexico State or California State University of Sacramento. Uh, so we can sort of gauge and say, okay, where are we as a state of the art? Not, not, not only in content, and that is, what is Homeland Security? Is it, is it all hazards? Is it national security? Whatever. But also, able, we're able to see you know, numbers of credits and how many courses they're requiring for their certificate. And, and I think it's going to allow us to, to sort of tailor this to a, to a field of study, state of the art across the country, which uh, I don't think anybody else is providing this kind of benchmark for us. And this, that's the, the great utility of this conference to me. And let's go to accreditation for a moment. As you are developing these programs and you've been in education for many years, how do you see Homeland Security accreditation rolling out? Well, um, in this conference I've learned quite a bit that there, there are similar obstacles that we have. I mean, in, uh, we're starting this program as, a, as a, what we call a non-credit certificate only because we still have to go through the state required processes and, and loopholes to be able to get to the credit certificate, but it gives us a way to sort of get it out there and start to teach the classes to anybody. And in our particular case, anybody can major in anything. They just can get the certificate if they take this, this curriculum uh, in, a, in addition to their major courses. Uh, and so that's been a great help here to see how others are, are dealing with those kinds of bureaucratic aspects of getting this, uh, this, these programs going. Um, I think the, the major challenge we have there is uh, how do we uh, refrain from duplicating the efforts of others in the area, in the region. And I think we're doing that pretty well because we do have a graduate program in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple of classes at some of the other universities, but no other real certificate program for undergraduates. So I think we're filling a niche there. Um, and being here has helped me kind of understand where others are in that process. Um, but I think we've got a long ways to go. And it's still at this point an experiment to see what the, what the client base is going to to ask for or, or demand or, or uh, come through, so we'll see. It certainly is an evolution. A absolutely, absolutely. The other interesting thing here, uh, I was a bit frustrated early on in the process because most of us were beginning this home and security idea at the grassroots level, mm -hmm. at the faculty level. Uh, it wasn't a top-down sort of thing. Um, and I thought maybe that was a unique aspect to it, but what I found in this conference is that many of the programs here were begun by faculty and had to be sold to the administration and so I feel like I'm in probably good company in that sense. Right. Well thank you for joining us today and talking a little bit about Homeland Security Education. All right, thank you.